Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Rose and welcome to another awesome video. In today's video, we got the iPhone 16 Pro Max. I just got it, by the way, and I actually installed the screen, pro screen protector on it and you can see the bubbles on it. I'm not really good at it. So today's video, we are screen mirroring the iPhone 16 Pro Max. And by the way, before I say anything, I can show you it's connected right. As you can see, it's connected. And by the way, it's completely free. Everything is just built into it. So you don't have to download anything on your iPhone or on your TV, if that makes any sense. You don't have to do anything on your TV. Literally just one click, by the way, just one click, okay? So as you can see, I am connected to my TV right now. It's, as you can see in the background, I can use the camera as well. You can see the camera is working on the TV as well. I can, I can take a photo of myself, hold on. Just take a look at this, okay? Wait, 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 okay. So I'm just gonna take a photo, I took a photo. I'm just gonna open the photo on the TV. You can see it on my TV actually. If I go out of the frame right there, it should be. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go out of the frame so you can actually see the TV. It's actually working. So I'm gonna, just gonna zoom in. There you go. We that's okay. Um, okay. Hmm. So you got the idea. I'm just gonna disconnect it on the spot, and we are disconnected. So it's pretty awesome the way it works. You can do tons on this. You can play games if you want to. Listen to music, watch videos. But basically. Everything you do on your iPhone will be on your TV. So yeah, let's just dive right into it. All right, so there's a couple of things we need to do on your iPhone 16, 15, 14, or whatever iPhone, yeah, but just gotta show you the skin on it. Just got the iPhone and looks so clean. It looks bigger too, at least that's what she said. <laughs> okay, so the first thing you wanna do on your iPhone is go into your network settings. Now this works for any iPhone you have, okay? Not just the 16 Pro Max or 16s. Second thing would be your home Wi-Fi. Now, I've said this in a couple of, video, couple of my videos, you need to make sure your iPhone is connected to your home Wi-Fi. It's home, it's free, you don't have to worry about data plan or anything like that. But if you don't have home Wi-Fi, you could always use your mobile data to enable a personal hotspot. I would not recommend it because it might cost you credit or depending on where you live, it might cost you data plans or anything like that. So be sure to use your home Wi-Fi and that is pretty much all you have to do. Second thing is going into be the screen mirroring settings into your control center. If you don't see the screen mirroring settings into inside your control center, just hold it, add a control, click on that, and you can find the screen mirroring settings inside the control panel. You can add as, as many screen mirroring settings as you can. You can actually make it bigger as well. <laughs> so that's pretty much all you have to do. Just make sure your Wi-Fi is connected and you have screen mirroring uh, tab on your control center, inside your control center, and that's pretty much all you have to do. Okay, so now we have to do the exact same thing onto your TV, not not the control center part, but we have to make sure the TV is connected to your home Wi-Fi as well. So this might look different on your TV, but I'm pretty sure the settings will be pretty, pretty much the same, okay? So onto your TV, go into your general settings. Inside the general settings, you would find the network settings. So inside the network settings, you would see network status and open network settings. If you have done, if you have done this before, click on network status. That would automatically connect your TV, TV to your Wi-Fi connection, your home Wi-Fi connection. Or if you have never done this before, you could go into the open network settings. Now, this is the part where you make sure your TV and your iPhone are both on the exact same connection. So don't worry about don't worry about it. I'm just going to show you step by step guide. So find your home uh, find your home Wi-Fi as you can see that's the top one and just click on it add password and that's pretty much it. I have done the password thing so I'm not going to enter the password again, but we have to make sure the iPhone is connected to the exact same Wi-Fi connection. So let me just open it. As you can see my iPhone is connected to my home Wi-Fi as well. So now my iPhone and my TV are both on the exact same connection. That's what we need. So click OK. Now, the second thing you want to do on your TV is to find a setting called Apple AirPlay. It should be inside the general settings, but you can search around in your own TV. Depends on what model or what TV you have. So in this case, it's in general, really simple, really easy. So just click on that and you will find something like this. It should look exactly like this. And that's pretty much all you have to do on your TV. Literally all you have to do. Okay, so now what you wanna do is take out your iPhone, unlock the iPhone, obviously, and go into the control center. Now inside the control center, all you have to do is just make sure the phone is connected to the home Wi-Fi and click on that screen mirroring option we enabled a couple seconds ago, a couple minutes ago, actually. <laughs> so just click on it and it should automatically scan 
the TV that is running on the same exact Wi-Fi and it has Apple AirPlay settings enabled. So just click on it and it should automatically connect your iPhone, iPhone 16 or whatever. In this case, by the way, if you have never done, the, if you have never done this before, it might ask you for a code. So in this case, it's 3130. So let me just type in into the iPhone. There you go. Really simple. Nothing fancy at all. Click OK. And a couple seconds, not even a couple seconds. I'm pretty sure that was just one second. And we are connected. It's pretty amazing the way it works. And you can do tons on this, by the way. I used to play Clash of Clans. I just got the iPhone, so I don't have the Clash of Clans. Maybe I do. I don't remember that exactly. But it's just so clean. As you can see, I just got it. And the iPhone is asking me to set up the camera. By the way, the new camera video will be up soon. So be sure to subscribe for that. As you can see, you can do tons on this. And by the way, it's real time. You can see I can ch I'm can i changing the settings and you can see it on my TV as well. So really amazing the way it works. So I hope you enjoyed this video, by the way. And you, by the way, the audio will be coming from your TV. So don't worry about it. The audio will be coming from TV. I don't think you can switch the audio from the iPhone because you might have to disconnect it from there. It's kind of like a kind of like headphones. You cannot disable them. <laughs> but yeah, let me just take a photo, and you can see you can see that it, it is it works in real time. So let me just zoom in so you can actually see it. You be funkies, and there's a and there's a Batmobile. Man, that looks so rough in the uh, when zoomed in. I mean, if you look closer to it, it looks clean. But when you zoom in, that doesn't look clean at all. <laughs> My apologies for that. But yeah, pretty amazing the way it works. And so. That's pretty much it for the video. I'm gonna show you how you can disconnect it. And I'm gonna make sure, just click, if you have the dynamic island, just click on it and you can stop screen mirroring. Or you could do the the uh, old fashion. You could just go to the control center, click on screen mirroring and click on stop mirroring. Now here's the bonus tip, by the way, for you. If you have done this before, you don't have to do any of those settings I've showed you before. And you don't have to do any of those anymore, okay? So if you wanna screen mirror your iPhone, again, just click on the screen mirroring and you can do that from anywhere you want the tv doesn't have to be in the screen mirroring mode as i like to call it but yeah that's pretty much it for the video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you like it and uh yeah i'll get back to you uh, if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section below that's it i'm riz and i'll catch you in the next one peace out that's pretty much it for the video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you like it and by the way if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section below i will get back to you as soon as possible i promise okay so be sure to like this video please subscribe if you find this video helpful at all okay so i'm riz and i'll catch you in the next one peace out